is out and about today. Take it around in the garage. Not going to do anything real strenuous. I think we're going to put this shutoff valve. I had the wife buy me yesterday at Tractor Supply. I didn't go anywhere. We're going to put this in the line on the generator. I had a metal shutoff valve in there. And it's way too difficult to turn the fuel on and off. I think this would be much more simple and quicker. But first, I had the other day when I did my pole saw video, it came with a couple of little pieces of plastic thing my bobs I put in my pocket. I still had them in my pocket when I went in that day. So I never did figure out what they're for. I should have read the instructions from cover to cover. Somewhere in here, maybe we'll find what that plastic is for. Oh well, we're not going to lose a lot of sleep over that dang thing. I have a couple of maintenance tasks to do today on the generator. I'm going to paint that tongue. Probably won't paint back here right now. I'm going to take the boards off to paint them. and I don't have that much time. We need to put some air in the tires and... Heaven help me, I didn't check the oil in this thing the other day. We're going to do that before we even start on the fuel line. Start with the air in the tire. Looks really low. <laughs> now we're going to be lazy and we're not going to drag out the pressure gauge. Almost half flat, and I wonder if it's having trouble pushing it out of the garage. Might have to put some foam in them tires, they leak way too bad. Well, I've got the tires done. Almost guarantee it's low on oil. <clears throat> a little bit of a slope downhill here. Oh, plenty of oil. In fact, I'm losing oil by taking it out on this slope. We put that back in there and wipe that off real quick before it runs on the driveway. <laughs> well, at least we know it ain't low on the wall. Alright, that's snug side cutters here. I had this fuel line a little too long anyway. Let's take this zip tie off. See how much extra fuel line I had here? I could go I'd take quite a bit of that hose out of there and still do downhill flow on my fuel line. I had way too much fuel line in there. This metal valve I bought at Auto Parts Place a couple years ago and put on here. I didn't know about the little plastic ones at the time. And this does work. It sets off the fuel. But it takes too long to turn it closed and it's acting a little stiff on me. Let's put that new fuel on if I can figure what I did with it. Alright. We'll stop the fuel flow. Let's see, would that reach it? Dang sure would. I don't actually want that thing up against that hot engine. You know what, that fuel line would have been better going down from the front here. Oh no, there's an exhaust pipe right there. 
don't even want to get close to that booger bear. Just for now, we're going to put the fuel line right here. Shut off the flow of fuel. Hopefully that's pinch closed good enough. Alright. Normally I would just take these hose clamps off, but since I gotta eliminate some hose anyway, let's just cut the hose to a better length. You still want to be able to tie it up with a zip tie to that pole to keep it from vibrating. Just cut a little bit. We can always cut more. that we're on here. I cut that much of it out. I think I still got plenty of hose. That's what we're going to go with for now. The direction of the floor of fuel is that direction, so we'll put Should zip tie up there just fine. Release the flow of fuel. Unkink the rubber line. Feels alright. I don't think I damaged it any. The fuel valve flow is shut off to the engine right there. Let's put a zip tie on her. Put that valve away and save it for a future use. For better or worse, we got our new shutoff valve on there. What other maintenance I need to do on this trailer? Oh yeah, I was going to paint that tongue while I got it pulled out. Walter's getting lazy again. I really need to wire brush this thing. Or I paint it, but I'm not going to. It's just a rough trailer anyway. We're going to paint it though. We're going to paint at it. Let's put it that way.
That didn't take me too long.